Hey guys, I'm The Flash. You wanna see how we made this sweet costume? Dave, take it away. All right, so I am super pumped for The Flash season three on The CW. At the point we are filming this, it is coming out in just a few days, and uh, it's one of my favorite shows, so I thought, what better way to celebrate it than making a Flash costume? So the first thing to do is the base shopping. So I went to my local thrift store. Now his costume is really more of a maroon or a dark red to say the least, but I'm just gonna use the classic red color and there's a few reasons why. One, when you think of the Flash, like the comic book one, he's really more of a red. He's not really a dark maroon or anything. So that's what I'm gonna do. And secondly, the costume, I had to find the pieces for it at the thrift store. So it was really, really challenging to find a shirt, pants, and mask all in the same shade of red. I just barely pulled it off and it's not 100% all right yet. Um, but trying to find those three things in maroon, in the same shade of maroon, that was just not gonna happen. So I was sacrificed having the right exact color for it all matching up and looking like one suit. So first things first, I got this uh, red turtleneck. Now these clothes should fit you pretty snugly because you know he is kind of wearing the spandex and leggings, you know, classic superhero attire. So I got this, it was about two bucks. Secondly, I got these, uh, they're kind of shiny in a way, red uh, leggings. And these are like the only red pants in the thrift store. They're uh, not bad and they match the turtleneck very nicely. So these were also about two bucks. So now, piece the resistance this red ski mask. So uh, I got this on Amazon for about $7. The link will be in the description below. And uh, it's not perfect. It's kind of funny right now. But with a few modifications, I think this is uh, about the best one I could get. So, and lastly, there's certain parts of his suit, you know, like his shoulders and the chest there, that have a little bit different fabric. It's a little bit darker and uh, just more shiny. So. I found this other red turtleneck that I uh, was originally deciding on using for the costume, so uh, like the base, and this was about $3, and it's a slightly different shade from this one, and so it'll make some pretty good just detail parts to really make it pop. Alright, so that's the basic stuff, now let's just put it all together and make a flash costume. So I'm just gonna look at the pictures and start cutting this thing up and uh, just hot gluing it right to the shirt. Okay, so that's it for the details here and I just added a few more little lines with the black sharpie because I saw them in the pictures and uh, now we're gonna work on the flash logo that goes in the middle of his chest this is gonna be pretty cool so I just traced a little lid to make this circle and uh, it's a little on the small side but I like that because now you see he has that gold edging around it so for that I have a ton of this uh, scrap polyethylene tubing. Uh, I used a little bit of it on my Rick Grimes hat there. And I think wrapping it in that would just look really, really good. And so this will be painted gold, this will be painted white, and then uh, I'll just make a little cardboard flash logo there too. Also gold, glue it on there. Flash logo done <laughs> this thing is looking pretty awesome and now to attach it to the suit you could just hot glue it right in place like that looks really awesome but uh, the way he has it in the show is he can kind of take it off and then he even swaps with the season one version at one point so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach some velcro to either sides of this and then you can stick it on and then I might even make a different season one logo to attach instead to you know just swap around I think that'd look pretty good so I'm gonna do that I already had a pack of velcro but uh knew they're only about a couple bucks so 
So on his shirt and his pants, you can see there's different gold lines running around. So for that, I'm just gonna cut pieces of this gold duct tape and uh, just put it all around the suit. All right, so all the gold detailing is done. It looks pretty awesome right now. So the next thing to do is his belt sort of thing. Uh, it's not exactly the traditional belt, but it's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do for it is using some more of this uh, darker red fabric from that t-shirt, I'm gonna actually cut off the bottom section and uh, glue it to the bottom of the shirt here. And that'll kind of look like a darker belt area and the gold trim will not go over it or anything but there will be a few belt buckles. Now I just made these out of cardboard. And now for his mask. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be modifying this red ski mask that I bought. So it's pretty good already, as you can see. Now, uh, the obvious difference with this is it has no mouth hole whatsoever. It's funny when I breathe. <laughs> but I'm gonna cut a mouth hole and uh, for that, I'm gonna have some help from my friend Janine. This is just a styrofoam head that I'm gonna use to uh, put this on there so that I can cut a mouth hole without actually having to put a knife to my face. Don't put a knife to your face. All right, so now that the mouth hole is cut, all that's left to do is make his lightning bolts on around the ears. So for that, I'm just gonna do pretty basic, the usual, cut uh, circles out of cardboard, lightning bolts out of cardboard, uh, spray paint them gold, and glue them to the sides of the mask. I also just drew on the lightning bolt with the Sharpie on the top of his head. I don't exactly know why he has it, but it's in the CW show, so I did it. Okay, and that's it for the mask. This thing is looking pretty awesome. I love these little lightning bolts here. All right, getting into the few finishing touches now. So the Flash has some red gloves. There's a few different ways you could do. You could just buy some red gloves, simple enough. You might already have some. You could just spray paint some old gloves red too. Uh, so it's really up to you. Or you could just, you know, skip it. The next thing is his shoes. He has red shoes. So uh, if you're not gonna wear this costume outside, you could even just wear some red socks. Um, or you, can, you know, you can put some red fabric over your shoes or whatever you want. Uh, I have kind of a collection going of old shoes that I'm using now just like, hey, spray paint these old ones. So I've got these old shoes here. Doesn't really matter what they look like. Uh, they'll be fine. And then I'm gonna spray paint them red. And then uh, I might actually add some little gold details with the duct tape too. And that's it. All right, and that is it for this episode. If you have any questions on this costume, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to reply. If you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. And uh, as for me, I'll be making new costumes here on my channel every other Saturday, so make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you next time on The Costume Kid. Hey guys, if you like this video, Here's some other ones. Click on the right to see how I made a Quicksilver costume, and click on the left to see how I made a Ghostbusters costume, as well as the entire Proton Pack. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.